Hello, my name is uh, Alex. Hey, I'm from Russia. I represent Gamescope Media, and I'm happy to talk to you about uh, your participants in Free Guy movie, which I really like. Uh, so my first question, uh, there are several streamers from all over the world that uh, performed cameos in this movie. And I think they all fit very naturally to the storyline, to the plot. Uh, so uh, do you know all the other guys who were participating in the cameos, other streamers? Have you met them personally? I think I've met almost every single one of the people that are that are cameoing in the in the movie yeah and they're all you know it, it, watching the the final product um you know it's it's like you're just like watching their stream right it's like you're tuning into one of their videos so um it's just really happy that they could just completely cleanly transfer like you know the authenticity of what these people are and what these you know um streamers are uh, and in gaming personalities are online just to just straight in the movie and uh, I also like that more and more movies uh, come to the topic of video games. It's very hard actually to make a film about a video game because uh, all movies like interactivity we have there uh, like a player. Uh, so how do you think uh, uh, what needs to be done to improve films about video games? Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I think that it, it, it's going to be a little bit of work for the producers and the directors and everyone to just get the permission to, like, as making it as, you know, relatable as possible. So, of course, first off, you're going to need the authenticity of, like, you know, the gaming space. It has to be, I mean, you know, it has to be relevant. The pop culture has to be, like, you know, spot on and represented in the movie so that everyone can watch it and be like, oh, my God, that totally happens in, you know, playing a video game like this. Um, but also getting the permissions of certain games that you want maybe to even make the movie about. You know, let's just say Halo, for example, if you wanted to make a movie with Master Chief and Spartans in it, right, you're going to need... 343 industries and every you know so-and-so's permission and their agreement and they have to sign. and like that takes a lot of you know working uh it just takes a lot of work right and cooperation and uh not a lot of people like to give the rights uh give their rights away uh, especially when it comes to movies so um it's it's it would take a lot of work man oh your hair looks amazing by the way <laughs> thank you yeah. man and uh, my next question, uh, uh, how did you join this film project? Do you remember the day you were offered to participate? How did it happen? Yeah, absolutely. We received an email. Um, my wife, who's also my manager, you know, she knows she knows when I'm interested in something, right? She knows when it's like, oh, hey, I have to, you know, I need to go talk to Tyler about this and see if he has any interest. And if he does, then maybe we'll pursue it. Um, but she came downstairs, I believe, and she was just like, Tyler, you need to like come here now. I was like, what? And she's like, I just got an email. It was like an offer uh, to do a movie with Ryan Reynolds and Sean Levy. And it's called Free Guy. And I'm like, oh my God, give, give me the, I was like, give me the script. Like, give me like, like let me, let's look at it. So we look and we like read it over and we just emailed them immediately. We're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'd love to be a part of it any way we can. So it was awesome. <laughs> and uh, did you have the chance to visit the film set to meet Ryan himself? Yeah, we did. We did. We flew in. Um, we flew in. I, I don't even remember how long ago, but we flew into the city that they were filming. Um, you know, one of the I think they were filming probably somewhere like halfway into the movie. Uh, and we walked on set and because we were doing my my, you know, scene and Ryan was there. We met, you know, Sean, of course, and, and it was awesome. He was awesome. You know, I was like, he like started walking toward us from like the other side of the street. And Justin and I are like, like, he's walking, he's walking towards us. He's coming up to us. And he's just like, hey, what's going on? Nice to meet you. We're just like, hi. Um, he's, you know, super awesome. He's the exact same person in the movies as he is in real life. Just genuine, funny, attractive. And if you happen to be in the free city from the movie, what would be your character's profession? What would you do there? Um, I would like to just be in it. I would like to just be a NPC. If I was, if I was a player, if I was in the game, I would like to be nice and safe on the sidelines, like selling goods. That's it. You know, like you come and, you know, I'll give you like groceries or something. Some, some place where I don't get robbed, you know, I don't want to be a part of a mission. Great idea. The NPC always have best dialogues. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. Uh, and uh, my next question, uh, did you offer any ideas for your come out of the filmmakers, maybe how to improve, expand it? Um, funny enough, not really. I think they asked me like one or two things about certain parts of the movie, um, too, like really small, but they were like in it. They knew they were like, I don't know if they had 
a team behind them of, of other influencers as well who were telling them or, or, you know, gamers who were like making sure it was all like very relevant. But I mean, I'm pretty sure it was just their hard work and, and intelligence and like that they just nailed it, right? They nailed the comedy. They completely were super accurate in the gaming space of, of what it represents. And um, yeah, when I watched the final product, I was like, this is 10 times better I already knew it was going to be great. It was 10 times better than that. So they nailed it. I'm listening to you and I think uh, you could continue your career in the film industry or maybe also voice over some projects. We have some great an animated films coming from Hollywood as well. Uh, are you interested in uh, going to this direction? Absolutely. Yeah, what, it's one thing that we're, we're actually actively trying to do um, is continue our, uh, you know, expansion into film and um just voice acting animation i mean anything i love it uh i've yeah i love it that's all i can say on it and i'm excited uh, how do you think is it more difficult to film a cameo in a live action motion picture or voicing over an animated character i think it would be it would depend on if i had to create the voice for the animated character if I, had to, if I had to like create something and and like not just mimic something, because I'm very good at mimicking voices and stuff like that. But if I were like, you know, the pressure of recording something where it's like, it's this is my voice, I have to consistently sound like this every single time I record. I feel like that actually kind of might have some sort of stress on me if I, I if it was like a very powerful voice that I had to make or something that wasn't very easy. Um, so I think it's like the stress of that or, you know, just being uncomfortable in person which I'm, I'm very, I, I feel like so far I've done pretty well in acting um, in, in, you know, on sets and stuff like that. So I, I think that they, they both have their, their challenges, but I like them both. I think they're both great. Okay, thank you very much, Ninja, for the great talk. I hope to hear and see you in new movies really soon. Awesome, thank you, Alexander.